I've just been notified that one of our test subjects may have angered the sentient cloud by beginning testing early. Now, as you all know, the cloud has banned all camera technology. Hates getting its picture taken. So this will have to be on the honor system. Will whoever started testing early please go outside so they can be consumed by the cloud? Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to take a break from uh, the normal gameplay videos to do something just a little bit different. Um, many of you may know this already, you may not. I've always been a big fan of the Portal series. Uh, a few weeks ago, I got kind of bored uh, with Titanfall and Garden Warfare and all that good stuff and decided to just go back and play some Portal because it really is a very fun game. And I discovered something uh, that I didn't know before, probably because it's been years since I touched Portal 2, um, is that now that now there's a uh, a Portal 2 test chamber creator uh, within the game itself. No need for the hammer level editor or any of that. Um, so just for a lark, I decided to create a couple of my own test chambers, and I published them to my Steam Workshop and had a few of my friends test them out. Well, uh, that went a lot better than I expected it to because they have all bugged me every week for a new test chamber. So, in order to keep my friends happy, because of course making one's friends happy often makes one uh, happy themselves, I of course uh, started creating a new, a new test chamber every week. Well, I'm up to and working on creating my fourth test chamber now. Um, now these are published uh, publicly, of course, everyone has access to them. I have decided that I will continue this trend of creating a new Portal 2 test chamber every week. Um, or at least every week that I, I can do it. So there should be, uh, for 2014, roughly 20-ish te test chambers by the end of the year. Um, you know, maybe omitting holiday weeks or, or such, or if I'm out sick. Uh, for more than three or four days at a go. Um, I will say that um, unlike a lot of people who do the YouTube thing and uh, who create community content, I really have, com I think, completely different expectations. Um, I don't have anything set up, so I don't really, uh, I'm not really looking for donations. I'm not looking for additional YouTube subscribers or even, uh, you know, additional good ratings for my items in the workshop in point of fact um, really the only thing that I'm asking is if you do download and play these test chambers give me your honest feedback tell me what you liked tell me what you didn't like tell me what you loved. tell me what you hated um, you know just keep me up to date that way I know what I should change maybe I should add more is my lighting bad uh, so on and so forth um, I do look forward to sometime in the future creating some uh, co-op test chambers just in case any of you are curious about that. I don't have any currently slated mostly because I am going to at some point need to use the portal or the uh, hammer 2 level editor in order to do some really decent um, co-op test chambers but uh, you know again I'm not looking for anything special for any any extra ratings although you know, if you do like it and you do decide to, you know, give me a rave review, I'd really appreciate it. If it does end up with more YouTube subscribers, again, you know, that's one of those things that's really wonderful and I really enjoy that and I really appreciate that. But it's not something that I'm really looking for. Just want honest feedback on how you enjoy the test chambers that I create. Uh, so, of course, let me have it, ladies and gentlemen. I really do want to know what you think. Um, and uh, of course I do plan on posting the Steam Workshop link or I guess I should say my Steam Workshop link in the comments below or in the video description below rather. Um, please feel free to leave comments on my YouTube as well as my Steam Workshop. Um, and uh, in case you're wondering the main reason I'm not going through all of the test chambers 100% is that um, I really don't want to ruin the game for any of you um, or for ruin any of the maps for any of you um, by playing them all the way through and showing every solution so really at this point you're kind of just seeing some of the elements that I've put in there everything from uh, deadly lasers to turrets and uh, 
here lately I've been pretty funnel happy although um, the next one is really gonna focus more on lasers and uh, you know companion cube uh, not to give away too much of the details so um, I thank you all for watching and as always thanks for playing Thank you.